just now leaving the shop. Had to get a few couple little things. Now I gotta go get Lauren. Head to the field. field. Lauren and I are headed to the stand for the first time this season. So today's October 2nd, it's super windy, but through a strange series of events, Lauren and I ended up here after the brush buck today. It's a little warmer than we'd like, but the wind's good to get in this stand. We're gonna give it a shot. The first week of October always seems to be me just getting my crap together, 
Yesterday I forgot the GoPro. Today I forgot my release. Fortunately, Lauren had her back tension with her. I've shot it before, so we should be good. We'll settle in here. Hopefully have a good hunt.
I just finally got the chance to check out that footage from last night. Looked at it real close. It looks like I shot just barely under him. Arrow stuck in the dirt. And when he took off running, he snapped the arrow off. It is what it is. Tonight, I wasn't really planning on hunting, but this weather is awesome. It's uh, raining right now. It's raining pretty hard. At like four, five o'clock, it's supposed to completely stop, be partly cloudy. So my hope is, is that that buck's gonna get up and hopefully come around and hit his scrapes. I don't know, it's worth a shot. You guys are gonna find out. I'm not gonna have a whole lot of time to hunt this November. I'm gonna be filming for my boss, Mark Beck from Whitetail Explorer. So I'm gonna be in the tree a lot with him. So I've gotta make my moves when I can this time of year. I'm really hoping to shoot this buck. We'll see what happens. All right, so remember yesterday how I said the first week of October always seems to be me just getting my crap together. Well, let's see. Today, I grabbed my release. I've got the GoPro. I forgot my hunting bag. My entire bag of hunting stuff I left at home. I went through, the really the only thing I needed was my camera arm. I almost made it without it. So I'm running home real quick. I'm gonna grab that and hit the field. settled in today I'm by myself it's a south wind I'm in the same stand we were yesterday I just realized I remembered my release my GoPro my bag now forgot a hat at least that's not that big a deal Just a couple toes and a really confused button bug. I just had those toes walk by and it's starting to rain kind of light. I have a feeling it's gonna stop soon. So that's a wrap for tonight. I probably won't be in a stand again until October 9th. Six more days to go. We got a beautiful cold front coming through that day though. Supposedly it's supposed to be north winds. We got a lot of good stand options for that. Tonight wasn't too bad. I still have yet to be skunked, but I saw four does and I saw them twice, I'm pretty sure. Maybe one was a button buck, but still no buck sightings. Good buck sightings. So kind of to be expected. I've never had good luck in October. I'm still playing a little careful, but just trying to put the hours in, maybe start putting the puzzle pieces together. I really, really want this deer. It's October 4th. We're out here on the big farm. Well, I am by myself today. There's an acorn flat behind me. It's the first north wind, first time we sat in the timber this year. We're hoping to see what else is going to come through.
I just got back to my car. My intro film got cut short because I had deer coming in. And ever since then, I was covered up with does. I had the possibility to shoot one, but being by myself, I didn't really want to. But we have a cold front coming in the next couple days. Hopefully those big bucks will be on their feet down there with those does eating on those acorns. So we'll see. Hey everyone, it's the first week of October and I checked on my food plot. And since we haven't had rain in three weeks and I planted about two weeks ago, nothing has sprouted, nothing germinated. So I'm putting in winter wheat tonight. I just bought a big push spreader and uh, that's what I'm doing the rest of the night. I'll be here till eight or nine o'clock at night, but it's all worth it. As soon as we get that big shooter in the field here, it's all, it's all worth it. I'm headed down to the small farm, hoping for the best. I'm just watching tonight is the main objective. Um, I'm really, really, really struggling with uh, trespassers right now out there, poachers, whatever you want to call them. It's a total nightmare. I'm getting some surveillance cameras set up out there. I've got signs put up. Hopefully it'll all be worth it. So I'm going to go in, try to figure out where these deer are bedding at. I've got a pretty good idea, but I've got a beautiful vantage point to go and find out and just sit from a distance and watch. I don't plan on getting in the tree tonight, but the wind's pretty stiff. The storms just rolled through. Unfortunately, if I do get up to this vantage point, I probably won't be able to share a lot with you guys. I just can't risk uh, showing off where I'm at and having to escalate this trespassing trouble anymore. I just realized I have to wear blaze orange today. I was in a rush to get out of work, so I'm headed to go get it right now and then headed back out. Now I'm running extra behind, but I just bought the two coolest blaze orange hat shirt or best shirt, best hat combos Walmart had. Look at this. Cardboard insert to ensure shelf stability. I can't wait to get this on. I guess that one size fits most excludes my large dome. Any, any gust of wind is taking this right off my head. I'm terrified to see how the vest fits. Hey guys, so I just finished cutting together this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't even have my good camera. I'm just shooting this on my phone. I just wanted to let you know, I've really enjoyed building this channel over the years and I'm really excited to see where it takes us. Um, I just appreciate all you guys and your contribution by subscribing. We're gonna be uploading more. Every two weeks is our plan. Um, actually every 15th and 1st of the months during deer season. So you're gonna start seeing less of me. I'm gonna be getting in the tree with Mark, filming for him. 
but you'll be seeing a lot more of Andrew. He's going to be starting to get his vacation days from work, and he's going to be hitting the tree pretty hard. Lauren will be as well. So stick around. This is going to be a great season. I hope you guys enjoy it.